Welcome back to another awesome video where we revisit the mini PC. Okay, in the last video we showed this GMK Tech mini PC. In this video, I'm just gonna go through what I would call some tips or just kind of my experience in setting it up. So more technical detail. Keep in mind, I'm a hobbyist, I'm not an expert. This may not be applicable for you. So I really only need three things. I need HDMI or yeah, video, power, and keyboard, which I'm gonna be using this Logitech wireless keyboard, and then just power it up. If you sign in with your email or the Microsoft account, sure, you might get some conveniences, but I really don't wanna sign into the cloud every time I sign in. I don't wanna be tracked. There's really probably no way to avoid it at this point, but I'm gonna sign up with a local account, and fortunately, the GMK PC people have set this up so it's easy to do. They even put a little handy sticker on the back of the network jack saying, hey, don't connect to the internet before you set up an account. You know, you could just put Windows user here if you want to remain anonymous because, you know, this is just going to be a PC in my house. Uh, I don't want to send a bunch of stuff to Microsoft. And right now we are at three minutes and 22 seconds. One thing I always do on a new PC is make it friendly to people who understand the file system. So you go under view, uh, show file extensions and I, I actually show hidden items too just because I'm like to see everything all right so you go under your PC settings you right click and that and it's called nukebox g3 plus I'm gonna rename this PC let's just say dev box or so you know office PC whatever you want to call it uh, and then of course it wants you to restart I just hit check for updates my stopwatch is about exactly at seven minutes so this may take a while. So it's been about 10 minutes and the, uh, the cumulative Windows update looks like it's what's going to take the longest. Now, if you search the full title of the update, not just the KB, if you search the KB, it was coming back with the French version, but it looks like if I search for the full title, I get the English version. So I'm going to hit download. Uh, cumulative update, blah, 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 blah. Let's see what that does. Downloading. Okay. Two minutes. This thing... The update thing is still stuck, but this thing's gonna download in two minutes. One thing I always like to do with a new PC is a backup. Once you get Windows installed, activated, get all your basic utilities installed, do a system image backup. This is great. You know, obviously if the hard drive crashes or say you wanna to upgrade to a larger drive, even in Windows 11, it's still called the Windows 7 Backup and Restore, which is interesting and you just create a system image. And I have successfully restored from the system image on Windows 10. Obviously I haven't tried it on Windows 11 yet. You only need as much space as you're currently taking up. So this is a new computer, create a system image. At this point you have an image of your C drive with everything installed, so really useful. Okay, that's an image backup, which is very time consuming and copies everything. But I've also used a sort of low budget batch file method to create automated daily backups of just documents from one PC to another. I've been using this successfully. Now, I, I'm not going to show you specifically how to do this because you are ultimately responsible for your own backups, but I will give you the ingredients. Windows Task Scheduler and you use a batch file with an xcopy command, you can have your computer in the middle of the night just automatically copy any changed or new documents to another folder so your documents then exist in two places. Also with the mini PC, if it goes to sleep and you're pulling the documents from another PC, you may have to create a task that just wakes the PC up. So I've set that up and it's been working pretty well for me. Another unfortunate thing about the time we're living in is a lot of the, ho uh, the software we use is kind of hostile almost to the users. Every time you do a big update, sometimes you get these pop-ups you can't clear. I mean, it's ridiculous for a PC that's been running for five years to suddenly get a message that pops up saying, hey, let's set up your PC. I can only imagine this confuses people who are not technically inclined. But fortunately, the GMK tech people actually provided, uh, made me aware of this thing that's been there a while called Shift F10. You can bring up a command prompt and issue all sorts of commands. You can just Google this, how to get around this. I think the keywords are like uh, out of box experience. Oh, Ubi. You know that what they're trying to do, they're trying to get you to sign up for repeated recurring revenue, online services. But you know, I'm going to manage this stuff myself. It may not be for you, but I'm cheap and I don't want to be tracked. Anyway, that about wraps up some quick tips about setting up the mini PC. While some of these are negative, we really actually like this mini PC. This is just some more detailed footage from the previous video, which I'll put a link to that, and I'll also put an affiliate link if you're interested in this uh, mini PC. But that's about it. We'll see you next time for another awesome video. Bye.